Welcome to the Adornant Studio. I'm Georgiana. And I'm Jackie. And today we're going to show you our brand new mini coloring books. They are so fun. You're going to want to get your hands on them because perfect size to put in your bag so you can color on the go or give as gifts. And the bonus is that they're actually printed on a watercolor texture paper. So I think it's better than a regular coloring book because well, you can sure. use so many different mediums onto the watercolor paper. You can use watercolor pencils, Copic markers, distress inks, paints, yes. all sorts of fun things. Yes, it takes your artistic ability to another level when you're using a good quality paper, which is what is inside our books. Definitely. So let's jump right in. We have 12 different books to offer, and we're going to show you a little peek of each of the fun art inside of them. Yes, yeah, so this one is the Fancy Flamingo coloring book, and this one is designed by Carolee McMullen, our mom. And you can see in here the different art and then it's printed onto that watercolor texture paper. Yes, you can like, hear how stiff it is. And if you kind of scratch it, you can even kind of hear the texture on that paper. Yes. So there's cute flamingos, a cute saying that says happy, uh, more of that cute flamingo. Just great different designs for your card making. Inside each book, there's 12 illustrations. Look how cute that one is. Coming up daisies. Shine on a cute little beach flamingo. Oh, I love this one. I hippie love bus. this one. Yep. So much fun artistic little spots that you mm -hmm. can add color. Those little daisies. Yes. And a cute ladybug with a daisy. And let's be friends. Wouldn't those make the cutest cards? Enjoy. So yep. if you like this book, this book is called Fancy Flamingo. Okay, Jackie, which one's your favorite? Oh, my favorite? I would have to say homegrown because I love the jars. Jars are so in right now. And so as you can see, the fun art in all the jars. And how cute. I love to cut these jars out too and like mount them as a card or leave them as this size. What's this final size? This is a, a perfect A2 card size. So if you're into card making, these are perfect sizes for your card making. So the actual size of the book is four by six, so when it tears out, it's like a four by five. Let's show them how easy it is to tear out. Okay. So I'll just finish flipping through this homegrown coloring book. And as you can see, so much art in here to color. It's just too much fun. So this is a great book. One of my favorites, homegrown. We'll show you how easy it is to just tear these sheets out. So each page is perforated, so you can see right here that perforation line. So all you have to do is kind of bend it and then simply carefully tear that out and it comes out super simple and easy and you can see how easy that is. Yes. How about you start coloring that one and I will start flipping through another book. This is a book called Love and Faith by Stephanie Ackerman and I'll show you the fun art that's inside this while co Georgiana's coloring. I love Stephanie's book. If you're into Bible journaling, documented faith, this is the book that you're going to want because there's so many fun different sentiments, faith sentiments in there. You can use them in your Bible journaling. You can use them in card making. You could use them in your uh, planners. So those are perfect for Stephanie's. Look how fun. Walk humbly. I love this. This book is so fun by Stephanie Ackerman. Love the art inside and the inspirational quotes. Okay, so you can see Georgiana, ooh, you're getting creative and you're mixing your colors. I am mixing. So what I'm using is a watercolor paper, I mean a watercolor pencil. And so it's just like a regular coloring pencil except for it has um, the pigment of the watercolor in this pencil. And so it's easy to use. So if you're new to watercoloring, this is what you're going to want to pick up first because it's so simple and easy to use. This is whenever we go and teach coloring. We always tell someone if you're a beginner, start with the pencils because they're easier to control. But you can see how she's not exactly staying in her lines. That's okay because the magic happens once the water is applied and it will help blend it all. So you can kind of see how she's done the different pressures to give a darker look or a lighter look, mixing the colors to give a variation. So show us the next step. So I used all three colors. That's what I like about the watercolor pencils is that you can mix them up to create your own Okay, now let's talk about the oh, water brush real fast. Absolutely. So we love our watercolor brushes. It comes in a trio pack, so you get a small, a medium, and a flat. Which bristle. you need all sizes yes. because they're great for, the small is great for the little detail spots. Medium is a good, nice overall coverage. And then the large brush, 
which is right here, is great for backgrounds. And what's so great about these is it eliminates the cup of water and the paintbrush because it all is in one and it just simply unscrews right here. You fill that canal right there with water. Any type of water, not a special water. Yep, any type of water, screw that back on and instantly you have water in your paintbrush. And you can see how I squoze right there, that water comes out and creates that. So once you do that, then you just start applying it to where you added that watercolor pencil. And yes. it magically uh, creates that watercolor. It actifies that paint pigment and allows you to move it around. So you can see where I did my lighter colors in the middle, that's gonna create a highlight. And then my outer edges, I used a little bit darker color and just allows that to really have a fun artistic flair. And it blends so beautifully together. And now with the water brush, you can kind of go and get your tips and do a little more detail work with this little brush. Right. So when you're coloring, you don't have to worry about following every single line, but once you apply the water, that's when the blending will occur, and that's when you want to go in and really tune up those little spots that's right. and make it fun. So like we talked about, these little mini books are perfect for traveling and on the go because they're easy. They're just four by six, put them in your purse, bring your water brushes with you, and you can color anywhere. We yeah. color on the airplane, we color camping, we color, um, I've seen people color in church. So just about anywhere you wanna color, this is a great addition. Yes. Let's show you another book. This one is so cute. This one is Just Folksy by Sherry Payne. I absolutely love her fun folk art that she has hand drawn, and then we have put into this book. So, so it's a really fun series. Yes, if people like um, wool applique, this is kind of inspired mm -hmm. by wool applique feel and touch, but in a coloring book. Yes. So, or that more vintage fun approach to art, this is what this book is all about. Very fun birds and houses and a little bit of floral. Mm -hmm. Isn't that one beautiful? I want to share my favorite book, one of my favorites. I don't know. I have a hard time choosing. I know. Also we can have lots of favorites, yes. right? <laughs> this is by the artist Catherine Scanlon, and um, it's Hello Friend, and it is a very fun floral book, and I absolutely love her illustrations in this book. This illustration is a lot different than our typical because she's a new artist for us, and so it really gives a whole nother vibe to all of our coloring books. Yes. I love this art. I do too. It's very, very fun. I absolutely love that one that says, hello friend, it makes the cutest card. Like here's one all colored up out of her line. And then also this one's colored up out of her line. So you can see how beautiful and artistic they are once they're all done. They're so fun. So I really like Catherine's book. So this book is called, what again? Hello friend. Hello friend. So if you're loving this book, Check this book out, Hello Friend. Yes. Love that one. Okay, let me show you another one. I think I keep picking up all of our mom's books. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, there is no bias on that, right? No, but there's not. <laughs> my mom's art in this book is called Daisy Delight. I'm loving this, the bright, fun daisies. Um, you can see this is a little bit more intricate art on some of them, but yet mixed with the simple and easy. So these books are really great for any age. Mm -hmm. I've seen little girls color and all the way up to grandma coloring. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a great way to get everyone involved with these I've coloring. even had my boys color with me. Boys, yes, yeah. I have too. And so really these books are good for anyone that loves to color or spend a little bit of time doing something different. The coloring books is a fun addition. That's right. Let's talk about um, our friend Lindsay Ostrom. She has three new books. She has The Calendar Girls, The Make-A-Wish for Birthdays, and The Girlfriends. So I absolutely love her art. She's very well known, and people look for Adornit to have Lindsay's art, I think. Yes, I think so many people follow Lindsay and really look for her mm -hmm. art because it is so unique, and the cute girls' um, art on it is so different, mm -hmm. and people love it. This one's The Calendar Girls, and so I absolutely love how each month, there's a January, a February, March, all 12 months in this book, and each girl has the different theme of that month. So you'll see, you know, May has the cute flowers, June for graduation and summer. Uh, she has the cute 4th of July. I love the 4th of July girl. So How cute will this be? Just color it up, frame it, put it out for the 4th of July, and you have an easy It'd be so cute. art piece in your home. Yes. 
Um, so cute for planners, I think, to make your planner dashboards each month out of your calendar, so, girls. Such a cute idea. It's the perfect size for that. September, I love the cute school girl. October, we have the cute girl with the witch and the pumpkins. Um, you can see how fun this art is and how unique it is. December. Like, look how adorable this girl is. And then we have our December, our Mrs. Claus. So cute. So fun. Another great book by her, Make a Wish. This mini coloring book is adorable, perfect for birthdays. So if you need easy card making on the go. You always need birthday cards. You need birthday <laughs> cards. And this book is perfect for that. Cause like we showed how easy it is to just tear these pe mm -hmm. pieces out cause they're perforated, yep. make a unique handmade card with it and you are good to go. And like we said, you can use your Copic markers, you can use regular markers, you can use alcohol inks, the watercolor pencils. I mean, any medium is gonna work on this because it's a thick watercolor texture cardstock. Yes, that's what I love about it. Yes, you're not limited to just watercolor. You can use anything, like you said, whatever's in your craft drawer. Yep, and they're gonna look darling. Yes, so fun. I have some finished art pieces um, with this book as well, right here. Right here is used out of this book. You can see such a cute birthday card that you can make. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, easy. Super easy. That's what we love with crafting is easy, fun, cute projects. And that's what these mini books are all about. This one is The Girlfriends and I absolutely love the sentiments in here. So it's just if you have a friend going through a tough time or you just need to send a thank you gift. I mean, how cute is that? Ladybug hugs. This one, she just says hello. Hey girl. Hey, that's it's so cute. so cute. What's happening? I mean, just cute sentiments that you can give to your friends. Um, she knew she could, so she did. The cutest sentiments on these books. So this is perfect for girlfriends. We love Lindsay's art. And again, three, book, three books with Lindsay's art in them. All very unique and different with the calendar girl, the make a wish and the girlfriends. You can see the endless possibilities that you can make with these fun books right here, just in these three. Okay, let's talk about another fun designer that I mm -hmm. love is, I love She She Designs. She is fun because she's a young designer and so if you have young girls in mind that maybe want to try mm -hmm. and color and have fun, this might be a great book for them because it's really trendy, mm -hmm. new, unique art. So this book would be perfect for someone that you might have in mind that's maybe a little bit younger and mm -hmm. would like Teenagers this. would love this book. Yes, so cute. Yep. And really cute sentiments again, you know, cute for home decor, cute to frame, you know, put like by a little bed stand or to use in your card making. So fun. Yep. Very fun sayings in this book. Think happy thoughts, that's what's on this front cover. So cute. I love this artist, love these designs. Bless our nest. I just love that beautiful artwork again. All these fun books, like we said, we can't pick favorites. Mm -hmm. There's just too, too many, hard. and they're all unique in their mm -hmm. own way. None of them is repeat art in any of them. So if you want to get all 12, get all 12 because they're all different. Yes, and the one thing that I really like about these books that we can show is each back page shows a few samples colored up. So if you're kind of going through a phase where you're like, I don't know what color to paint these or to color them, then just flip it over on the back and it can help give you some inspiration to get started. Yes, we all need cards. a little bit of inspiration. So that's why our back covers are perfect for that. Mm -hmm. Just flip through them. You can see the different card making, put it on uh, a fun little shape. You can really do so much with Tags, them. Tags for gifting. Frame so them up. So many fun different ideas. Yes. Oh, I think we still have we our have gnome. More. Our gnome life book left, which is so cute. I love the Gnome Life. This is again by our mom, Carrie Lee McMullen. And each little gnome has a different theme for the different months. Like there's a little Valentine gnome, cute little painting gnome. An artistic gnome. Anyone mm -hmm. that loves to paint, you need a color of that gnome yep. and put it in a frame and put it in your craft room. So many cute things. I love this one with the little beehive as the mushroom with the little ladybugs. So he is just each gnome is different and cute and quirky. I absolutely love it. I love the little camping gnome. Okay, who's a camping fan? You need this. Yes. If you have a friend in mind, make him a card. Mm -hmm. Love it. And how cute is this one? The gnome has a pumpkin on his head. So cute. This book was very well thought out with being 
different. Yes. And bringing gnomes uh, characters. And so if anyone loves gnomes, this would be a great book for you too. Okay, I think actually we have one more book. Oh, we do by another new artist, yes. Nola. We adore Nola and Nola Chandler. It's so cute. And she just has a fun uh, artistic style, very cutesy, uh, just perfect for card making, for tags. Like this one says, it's well with my soul. Uh, Look how cute that girl she's is. She's so cute. I am wearing the smile you gave me. So cute. When I think of this book, I think of teacher gifts. Oh, perfect. When I think of that, this is the book that comes to mind. How perfect would it be for your son or daughter to color up a card for the teacher, give it to them? I think this book is perfect for that. It would be perfect for that. And even this one, uh, it says, under his wings, I will find refuge. So, I mean, there's lots of different sentiments in here anchor yeah that you can use for all sorts of different purposes just blessed the cute little posy daisies so adorable a great new artist too stinking cute oh yeah i mean that i just think that's a it up. good way to end it too stinking cute is our new <laughs> coloring books here we love them all can't pick a favorite 12 new ones to choose from all different art and all of them we showed you how easy it is to tear them out color with them, create with them. Mm -hmm. They're just too much fun. They are. So thank you so much for joining us today in the studio and learning all about our new books. You can find them at your local craft store or going to adornit.com. Yes, thanks.